I'm going to my mom's tonight to have schnitzel. Yeah? Was ist das? I would love to know more about your parents, like where they are from. I love your mom's accent. Oh, Susan's the best, even though she kind of annoyed the s*** out of me today. My mom is from Zurich, Switzerland. She has a full-blown accent. She's very funny. I cannot emulate it at all. I like don't hear it, but all my friends hear it. And my dad is from literally Beverly Hills. They've been together for 35 years, and I'm very close with both of them. And they're actually quite normal, and they think I'm a little nuts, but they really appreciate my star power. My parents call me on speakerphone to talk about my performance. I'm like, where'd you go wrong? She doesn't like when I mess with my hair too much or play with the pen. She thinks it's distracting. Oh, and they don't like when I talk off camera to the producers. They think that that alienates the audience and people don't appreciate that. My dad was like, where can I not see this necessary realness? I'm like, Google it. And then he started playing it at the table. I'm like, not now. I don't want to hear my voice. Oh, oh, thank God. I was like, I'm turning into my father. What is that? My dad's like, I can't remember anything. I'm like, I have that now too, so don't even. This is when I know my mom's a down ass bitch. My parents came over for dinner. We had a little bit of an evening, which was fun. I poured Susan a large glass of tequila because I thought that was gonna be the cocktail of choice. And then somewhere along dinner, someone said, oh, Susie, I think we should switch to wine. And then that bitch couldn't leave my house for six hours because she was so wasted, she couldn't stand up again. I was like, what is going on? She was like, how did that get so strong, Carver? They had the best time. I had to explain to Susan that her straw was paper every day because she kept trying to stir her margarita with it. I'm like, your straw is disintegrating. It's driving me crazy. Just don't leave me alone. Do your own thing. I mean, this is how crazy she is. She's so... She came over yesterday like she was giving out pamphlets in high school in like 1960. She was like, it's my birthday. And I'm like, okay, you're so crazy. She's always like, how do I get to the Instagram? She's so inept when it comes to things like this. She's the one that still leaves. Hi, it's Susan. She'll leave me voicemail introducing herself. Like, bitch, I know who the f is calling me. And then apparently she's gotten 3,000 followers because I told everyone to follow her. And then she came, she was like, oh, you have a bio. I'm like, so Morgan Stewart's mom. She's like, whether I like it or not. Are you ready for the DMs from my mom? She writes, today when I had my leather shorts on, vegan or leather shorts, lol. Amazing, love, love, every detail about this look. Then she goes, nice legs, dot, dot, dot. My mom goes, I don't know who raised you. Never can put anything back. My mom doesn't, is very big on not having in her house. She brought over my baby books and my yearbooks and my baby blanket. And then I wanted to throw away my sweater that I got at the Great Wall of China. She's like, you keep this. This is a memory. Yeah, I have a lot of aches. My mom's like, just have babies. Forgot the husbands. She's like, I'm ready so I can take care of them. My dad's like, oh, Morgan, you've got time. My mom's like, not so much time. No, this is wrong, Harvard, not so much. Does Susan want grandbabies? <laughs> Dying. Of course. Hanging on for waiting, dear goddamn waiting, life, waiting, losing her mind, okay? Waiting. She's so excited about having a grandkid. I mean, she said, we're so fortunate that we're having a grandkid because a few years ago, we didn't really know what was gonna happen with you. That was last week. <laughs> oh my God. Susan, I have not seen my mother as happy as I have in the last month. She is obsessed with Ro. First of all, she goes, I can't believe you have such a cute baby. I really, Morgan, I'm serious. I did not think you could make such a cute baby. You were not so cute, literally. I'm like, you just say that because she's your granddaughter. She's like, no, no, I know, I can tell. She's gonna be a stunner of that one. I'm like, why are you screaming at everybody all the time about this baby? So I think I'm a lot like Susan in the sense that like, I'm a really good mom, but I think we're gonna parent differently, but I also feel I'm saying that because she's so young. So I'll be lenient with Ro until she gives me a reason not to be. So yeah, I'll probably end up being like her. She's, oh, this is how I would do it. Get it out of the way, be done. She loves it. By the way, I forgot like I'm now a mom. So I'm on a mom trip with my baby putting sunscreen on her. But then my mom told me to put sunscreen on like eight times. I'm like, you can't come if you're gonna do things like that. It, it was a lot. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you missed our last episode, be sure to check it out. Don't forget. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more Necessary Realness.